everybody, it's Hexa, and today's video is going to be a 3 Lux 1 palette using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. So I've already done my foundation, my contour, my eyebrows, and everything. The only thing I'm going to be showing you guys how to do in this video is the eyeshadow and the lipstick and maybe also the highlighter. The first look we're going to be doing is going to be something really, really simple and like a daytime appropriate look, something that you can wear to school or work or just something really, really simple and toned down. The second look is going to be a little bit more dramatic, like an evening look, something that you could wear out, or just if you're more of a flamboyant person, if you like to wear a heavier eyeshadow look, that is what the second look is going to be. And then the third look is going to be something like a graphic statement look, something very, very simple, but really bold and unique and a little bit artsy looking. I don't know if I'm going to be filming all of these in one day because my eyes will probably go crazy if I do my makeup and then take it off and do my makeup again three times in one day. So my outfit might change. I might be filming this on three different days or two different days at least. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, without further ado, let's begin. So for this first look, I'm going to be taking tempera first just to set my brow bone to crease area. Next, I'm going to be taking the blending side of the brush that comes with this palette and dipping into the shade Bon Fresco. I'm applying that to my crease and just above it, and I'm going to go lightly all the way into the inner corner with that. So we want more of the product on the outside, but still just put a little bit into that inner corner. Then using the same shade, I'm going to take a short bristled kind of flat brush just to run that along the lower lash line. Depending on the shape that you want to create with this look for your eyes, depending on your personal eye shape and the kind of look that you like to do, uh, you can choose to extend that shadow upwards and meet the crease color to make a V shape, or you can leave it a little bit more rounded, whatever you prefer. I personally am going to go up and kind of make a more noticeable V shape to my outer corner. That tends to be what works for my eye shape. This shade is really, really amazing because if you use just a little bit of it, it can give you such a beautiful light lilac look, but you can also really build it up to create a darker purple if you want. Then I'm going back in with that blending brush and just applying a little bit more color to that outer V. I'm gonna go in with the eye contour brush from the Too Faced Teddy Bear Hair Set just because I think that might help me get a more concentrated color on that outer corner. And you just want to drag that purple in to about a third of the way in on your outer corner. Now that that's done, I'm going to take an angled brush with the shade Antique Bronze. And I'm just going to run that along my upper lash line. I have to have my mirror up close for this because otherwise I cannot see what I'm doing. Actually, I think I'm going to add a little bit of cypress um, boobs, umber. Hi. Hello. <laughs> going to be a special, special featured in my video. Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. <sighs> Prince Charming here to save the day and interrupt my video. <laughs> what do you think of this look so far? Pretty nude, but... I, thought I guess there's going more in it. Huh? I guess you're doing more to it. This is my like simple daytime look. I'm doing three looks, one palette. So three different looks with just one eyeshadow palette. Right. And I'm going to be doing a daytime look for like work or school and an evening look that's a little bit more dramatic. And then I'm going to be doing my classic like bold underwing, you know, right. that I like to do. Yeah, by now it's, it just looked like you have anything on your face except for the foundation. Yeah, I only have like two. What, what about the purple eyeshadow? You can't see this with the lighting. 
You can see it. At, you can see it here. Yeah, but when you're turning your face away, your <laughs> face will be is in, the, in the shadow. Okay. What do you want to do? Do you want to hang out until I finish filming? Sure. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, okay. I'm trying to be better about my upload schedule. Okay. <laughs> you cute. Mm -hmm. You can be my background. You can stay. You can stay here and give me. A... Are my hands nice and cold? They're so nice. It's so hot in here. I'm if you go downstairs and watch them. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't want to sit here and just observe the beautiful process of me filming my wonderful, amazing videos? No. No? Okay, bye. See yeah. ya. I love you. What? Careful with the camera. <laughs> oh! See, I actually wrapped it this time in some. That's so some cute. I didn't have any clear uh, scratch tapes in the missing duct tape. Oh, that's so cute. That's a, I think I did a pretty good job. I'm so excited. I will unwrap it as soon as I finish filming this look. Just go downstairs for me, though. I love you. I love you too. Is there some food in the fridge or something? Yes, mom cooked like a billion different things yesterday. Oh, awesome. I'll just wait the fridge then. I'll just do that. <laughs> Okay, continuing on. I said I was gonna try to add a little bit of cypress umber, but I'm just gonna finish uh, running that color along both of my lash lines and just see if if I feel like I need it. In the end, I don't know yet. One of my eyes is starting to water because that's what my eyes do these days. Um, I think the bristles on this angled brush are a little long, so let me see if I can find one that has shorter bristles. Okay, I think I found a good one. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of Cypress Umber and just kind of try to add that to the outer corner of my eye to darken it up a little bit. I'm gonna flick it slightly, slightly upwards, but not too much. I don't really want like a wing wing with this. I just wanna like have a tiny little bit of an eyeliner type of effect. Okay, that looks better. So I'm just gonna take Cypress Umber about a third of the way in. By the way, Cypress Umber is this shade right here. So it's like a dark brown, dark chocolatey brown. And now we're gonna go in with our lid color. I'm gonna be using Vermeer. It is this beautiful kind of just white gold shimmer shade. And I'm gonna be using the packing side of the brush that the palette came with to apply that. I actually quite like this side of the brush. The blending side, uh, like I've said in other videos, is a little bit uh, hard. It's a little, it feels a little bit too plastic, but I think it did an okay job, actually. So I'm just gonna apply a light layer of that shade Vermeer over the two thirds of my eyelid where we don't have that matte purple shade. I seem to have lost a little bit of that eyeliner, so I'm gonna mix together Cypress Umber and Antique Bronze and just fill it back in just a little bit. So we're gonna finish off these eyes with my Shu Emura eyelash curlers and some Better Than Sex mascara. To highlight this look, I'm gonna be using Pink Heart from the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit. And I want that to really pop, so actually before I apply it, I'm going to spray my face with some Smashbox Primer Water. And then I'm just gonna wait for that to dry down halfway. So I'll have a little bit of a tacky base on my skin to make that highlight really, really pop. I honestly can't get over how much I love this highlighter. So I'm applying that to my cheekbones, a little bit up into my temples, just above the brow and into the hairline. On my nose, Cupid's bow, 
and chin. And if you want, you can take a little bit of pink heart on your fingertip and just pop it into the inner corner of your eyes. And maybe also on the brow bone. So with that done, the only thing left to do is lips. I have no idea what lip color I want to go for. Obviously this is a daytime look, so it should be a little bit more nudey. Let's see, I've got an entire Anastasia lip palette to play with. There's got to be something in here that's going to work. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take shade number one, which is this beautiful pink nude, and I'm going to add a little tiny bit of shade number five to it just to give it a little bit more pigment. Um, I feel like pinky nudes don't really look that great on me, so I'm going to make it a little bit of a light purpley nude rather than a pinky nude. So I'm just taking the mixing palette that it comes with and I'm gonna apply a little tiny bit of both of those colors. When you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you clean your palette knife really well in between dipping into shades so that you don't end up like dirtying either of the shades. So here we have the two colors. I don't know if it's focusing, but that's kind of the proportions that I mixed them in. And now I'm taking the lip brush that the palette comes with and mixing those two together. All right, so with that, this look is done. I really, really like how it turned out. I was getting a little worried that the eyes were looking a little bit too dark at one point, but I feel like they turned out pretty okay. I also really like the lip color. It's amazing how much that teeny tiny little bit of purple can do to really change up that color. So this was my first look with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I will come back tomorrow to film the second look. I'm getting a little worried that this video is gonna be super long though because I've already been filming for like half an hour just for this one look. So hopefully I can kind of speed up the process in the next two looks. Hey guys, it's day two and we're gonna be starting on our evening slash dramatic look. I'm starting off this look with a lot of bake under my eyes because I want to dip into some of the darker reds in the palette and I feel like we might have a little bit of fallout. I'm gonna try to speed through this a little bit more quickly than I did with the last look, so let's get into it. First, as usual, I'm applying Tempera to my crease to brow bone area as a base shade. Next, I'm taking golden ochre on the blending side of the palette brush and applying that to my crease. We're actually gonna go just a little bit above the crease and we're gonna do this in a very rounded shape because I wanna go for a halo eye today. So for that, we want a really, really round appearance to the eye. So we're gonna kinda start with this light transition shade to alter the shape of the eye and make it a lot more rounded if your eyes aren't particularly round already. So usually I extend my eyeshadow a little bit past the outer corner, but today, as you can see, I'm going straight down on that outer corner to make sure I keep that nice and round shape to the eye. For the second transition shade, I'm using Raw Sienna. That one is also going into the crease, but just a little bit lower down. I'm gonna use my finger to pull the skin of my eye up just a little bit so I can really get in there and blend out the shadow smoothly. You don't wanna tug at your lid too much when you're doing this, so just be really nice and gentle. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra powder to my forehead just so that I don't disrupt the uh, foundation when I do this. Next, I'm going in with Love Letter and applying that to the inner and outer corner using a pencil brush. You really want to make sure you tap off the excess on this because Love Letter is quite powdery. It's a really beautiful pigmented color, but because of that, it does tend to get a little bit powdery. Okay. 
And then we're also gonna use that pencil brush to kind of create a bridge between the two shades right in the crease. Again, make sure you leave this space in the middle empty for our highlight shade. Now I'm gonna take that same shade Love Letter on a smaller blending brush and just kind of diffuse it out a little bit in there and blend those colors together. And of course, the defining part of any halo eye is the beautiful pop of light. So for that, we're gonna be taking this shade Primavera and applying that to the center of the lid right here where we left that blank space using the packing side of the brush that came with the palette. If you want a little bit of extra pop, you can actually apply this wet. Uh, but sometimes using shadows, especially like metallic foiled shadows wet, can tend to make them uh, look a little bit wrinkly on your eyelids. So I'm not going to do that just because I feel like it kind of ages the appearance of my eyelids a little bit. And I really like this shade by itself. It really doesn't need to be applied wet. It looks very, very beautiful and bright by itself. And if you want, you can kind of go back and forth with Primavera and Love Letter just until you get the exact right look for your halo eye and both of the shades look really nice and pigmented. I feel like I kind of want Love Letter to be a little bit more red. Actually, to make Love Letter look a little more red and stand out a bit more, I'm going to pack a little bit of Venetian red on top of it. This does have a little bit of a shimmer to it, but not really. It's not that noticeable. It's more of just like a satin finish. But I think it's got a little more red to it than Love Letter, and it might kind of make that shade stand out a little more. Now that we're done working on the eyelids, we can just take a big fluffy brush and dust away all of the bake. On the lower lash line, I'm taking this short bristled smudging brush and I'm gonna take the shades Love Letter and Venetian Red together and smoke them out along the lower lash line, leaving a little bit of space in the middle. And then we're gonna go back in with Primavera and just apply that a little bit on the lower lash line right there in the middle. Actually, I don't really like how that looks, so I think I'm just gonna go back in with that same brush and just smoke out the entire lower lash line with that mix of Love Letter and Venetian Red. Change of plans. Okay, that looks better. Next, I'm gonna darken up the lash line using my MAC Lip Pencil in Beat. This might not be eye safe, so if you have a red or reddish purple eye pencil, I would recommend using that instead. And I'm gonna top it all off with some Shu Emora eyelash curlers and Better Than Sex mascara. If you wanted, this look could definitely do with some false eyelashes. I personally just suck at applying them and find them really uncomfortable, so I'm gonna do without. Moving on to highlighter, for my face I will be using Forever Young from the Nicole Guerrero palette, and for my inner corners I'm gonna be using Glow Getter. As with my last look, I'm gonna apply a little bit of Smashbox Primer Water or Setting Spray, anything like that, to my face to help the highlighter stick a little bit better and look a little bit more glowy.
All right, and then dipping in for that inner corner highlight. I feel like this gold really ties in well with the highlight shade we used for the center of the lid. They're very similar tones, but still different enough. This one has a little bit more gold to it. It's a little bit darker, actually. Now, I know that technically, according to the rules of makeup, you're not allowed to have a bold eye and a bold lip, but I have never been one to follow rules like that. I think they just really limit creativity in general. So, I'm gonna be doing a bold lip. If you wanna go for a nude lip, that's totally fine, but I personally really wanna do a nice, like brownish red kind of shade. So I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia lip palette again and I really don't know what shade to choose. I feel like shade number six over here is a good base, but I want it to be a little bit more red than that. This shade is a little too brown. It's like a reddish brown, but it's a bit too dark. So I think I'm gonna try to mix number six with number three which is like this rust sort of shade, and maybe I will get a nice color from that. Let's see. To me, makeup is all about experimenting and trying new things, so if this doesn't turn out great, I really don't mind. I tried it out, and now we know that it doesn't work. <laughs> but let's find out. All right, let's see how we do. So we didn't really end up with a red, it's more of like a slightly, it's like a milk chocolate kind of color. I don't mind it, I still would have hoped that it would be a little bit more red to kind of match the eye, but I think it looks okay with this look anyways. So that's it, our second night out evening halo eye look is complete. Okay, day three, look number three with the Modern Renaissance palette. Today's look is going to be a super, super, super duper simple look, but it's very like graphic and bold and just really like a statement look. You'll notice my brows are a lot darker for this look than they were for the other looks in this video. I decided that the dark brow looks kind of cool with what we're gonna do today. This is definitely not my shade. I am wearing the Anastasia Dip Brow in Chocolate and I'm probably more of a taupe, but for this look I feel like it might kind of work. So just ignore the fact that my eyebrows are way, way, way too dark because it's gonna it's gonna go together fine. I just really wanted to have a very dark, very bold eyebrow for this look, so it's kind of just like really in your face. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Uh, for this video, we're actually only gonna be using one color, and I'm gonna be using Love Letter, but I think there are three or four shades in here that might look good for this. So essentially what I'm gonna be doing is an under wing, that's what I like to call it. It's basically like doing winged eyeliner with your eyeshadow, but rather than starting on your upper lash line, it starts on the lower lash line and extends upwards and out. Any bold, beautiful, pigmented shade looks good for this, so obviously you're gonna have to use something quite dark. I really like doing this with purples, with blue, teal shades. Uh, anything works. In this palette, I'd say the best shades for a look like this are are red ochre, Venetian, what is this? Venetian red, <laughs> love letter, uh, maybe realgar or realgar, I'm not sure how, how to pronounce this. And if you wanted to go for a more neutral look, you could 
use, uh, again, what is this called? Cypress Umber. I personally prefer to use a more colorful shade. So for me, I think the three reds in here, Red Ochre, Venetian Red, and Love Letter are the best ones to use. Also, this tends to work better with matte shades. You can definitely use like satin shades. So for example, Venetian Red, this one is more of a satin, and I think this one also works fine for this kind of look, but I would not do this using like a full-on shimmer or metallic shade unless uh, you maybe use a wet brush for it so that you can really really get that color to stay in place Here you have some swatches of the four shades that I would recommend you could use from this palette So from the top we have red ochre Venetian red love letter and realgar uh, personally, I think the two shades in the middle are the best, but Love Letter by far is my favorite because it does seem to be the most bold, bright, and pigmented shade. And since we're only using one color, that's really what you want. You want to go for a color that really just has a lot of pop and va va voom to it. For this type of look, I also recommend that you keep a very simple nude lip and just a very, very clean beautiful, flawless base. So without doing like a very, very bold contour, I did contour my cheekbones a little bit, but I tried to keep it a little more toned down because you really want all of the focus to go into the eye area, which is also why I did these really dark, bold eyebrows to kind of draw attention to that part of my face. But I think I've talked about it enough, so let's just get into the tutorial. So I'm gonna start off by taking Love Letter on this short, bristled smudging brush. Another great type of brush for this would be something like a pencil brush. So I might end up using this one. This is the pencil brush from the Teddy Bear Hair Set by Too Faced. So I'm just gonna coat both sides of the brush and tap off any excess, and then I'm gonna go and apply that right on the lower lash line. And I'm going to, right from the start, extend that upwards. So we've kind of mapped out that extension. Now I'm gonna take the pencil brush and go over that to create a more pointed end. And then back in with the smudging brush and we're just going to go all the way along the lower lash line. I like to just go over this a few times until I'm happy with the pigmentation. I really want it to be very, very nice and bold. All right, so that's essentially what we've got. It looks very kind of like Cleopatra-y, I feel. I really, really love the way that this looks. Uh, the only thing I would change is maybe not go quite so far in on the inner corner. I feel like it's not really necessary, but you can if you want to. Actually, maybe I'll try to sharpen up the inner corner a little bit using the pencil brush, and that might look better. All right, so we've got one eye done, and now the challenge is going to be to do the exact same thing on the other side and get it perfectly symmetrical. All right, I think I've gotten the two sides about as close as they're going to be. Getting them symmetrical is probably the hardest part of this look, but generally, if you don't really stress about it and just follow the natural shape of your eye, you should be fine. But if you make any mistakes, you can just take a little bit of foundation or concealer on a beauty blender and then powder it and go back over. Um, I did that a couple times and it turned out fine. You can't really see where I had to correct the shape. Now I'm just gonna make my waterline match the eyeshadow using my MAC Lip Pencil in Beat. Again, this might not be eye safe, so I would recommend using a eye pencil if you have one in the right color. And we're just gonna go ahead and line the entire lower waterline. We've only got one eye lined right now, but I thought I would just show you guys the difference so you can really see how 
this side matches a little bit better and it just looks really nice and cohesive and pulled together. So our eyes are actually pretty much done. You can add some mascara to this look if you want to. I personally really like the way it looks without. But just to give my lashes a little bit of lift, I am going to curl them with my Shu Amura eyelash curlers. I really like this look because it perks up the lashes just a little bit but without darkening them and taking away attention from that really colorful uh, lower lash line. For the face, I'm actually going to leave it the way it is now. You can do a little bit of subtle highlight if you want to, but I'm going to do without. I just want to leave my base really nice and clean without any highlighter or any color or anything like that. I'm not even wearing blush. Same thing for the lips. Like I said, I want to keep them very nude. So for the lips, I'm going to go in with shade number one from the Anastasia Lip Palette Volume 1. I did say in one of my other makeup looks in this video that I don't really like the way this looks on me, but I think for this look, it's okay. So I'm just gonna take some of that on my lip palette and apply it to my lips. This is definitely a pink nude, but on me, I feel like it almost looks a little bit peachy. So I don't know, interesting. And now that everything's done, I'm just going to take some Smashbox Primer Water to set everything in place. And that is the completed look. I really, really love how it turned out. I think the dark brows definitely do draw attention to the eye area and it looks really cool. I think I could have gone even lighter with the lip, but unfortunately the only lighter nude that I have definitely really doesn't look good on me. So I decided to just go for this one. It really does pull very, very peachy on my skin tone, even though in the pan it definitely looks like a pink. So I don't know what's up with that but I, I don't mind it, it looks cool. So I'm gonna film some close-ups with this look and then I'm going to do my outro. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all loved it and please let me know if you want any other three looks one palette videos with other eyeshadow palettes that you've seen on my channel. I would be very very happy to do more for you. I really had so much fun with this look. I can't with my hair today. I don't know. I It's not... It looks bad. My hair is not... Not cooperating. <laughs> I know this video was super super long probably so thank you guys so much for watching it anyways if you've actually watched it till the end uh, please let me know if you like the whole like talk through tutorial for the three looks one palette or if I should do a voiceover next time I feel like if I did a voiceover it would be a lot faster but the the you know talk through format is a bit more personal so whichever one you guys prefer please let me know in the comments if you like this video please remember to like comment subscribe and share you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram and snapchat for more and you can donate to my patreon down below to support me and my channel thanks again for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye